Dear friends, welcome to Infos. Welcome to another video from Infos and Oil and Gas Training. In this uh, <clears throat> video, we are discussing about uh, some advanced control system uh, components and family members like uh, smart valves and uh, digital positioners. It is uh, an advanced system using for uh, uh, control system and uh, other process control. Welcome to this video. So, process control, uh, we have discussed many times about the process control in detail in our various videos. Uh, even though we were discussing some information on this one process control, for uh, discussing on uh, advanced process control like smart uh, walls, control walls and digital positioners. <clears throat> you can see here that one sensor, transmitter, controller and control valve part of the control system family. So, process control is the ability to monitor and adjust a process to give a desired output. It is used in, is used in industry to maintain quality and improve performance. These are well known to us. An example of simple process is that controlled is keeping the temperature of a room at a certain temperature using a heater and a thermostat. It is very simple. And industrial process control is simply process control in continuous production process in a is a discipline that uses industrial control system and control theory to achieve a production level of consistency, economy and safety. This is very important. We are using industrial process control in industrial process, continuous industrial process, hydrocarbon industries, oil and gas processes to achieve a production level of consistency, economy and safety which could not be achieved purely by human manual control. Some information still on process control. Although the majority of valves and actuators are used with analog system, the face of the process control is changing such that digital technology may quickly overtake those analog system that are so prevalent today. So, new generation technologies, digital technologies taking care on or overtaking that analog or replacing analog systems. So, coming of smart valves in this method we can say or in this technology basis we can say smart valve digital positioners uh, like that one we have some new information on uh, advanced process control. A smart valve is defined as any valve with a microprocessor integrated into the valve design. You can see here, these are the smart valve system. Smart final control elements such as intelligent systems mounted on valves or digital positioners used with actuators have less or no moving part to fail and the performance associated with the digital communication is far and away better than the 4 to 20 milliamp signal found in analog system. So, what they are discussing on smart valve is an intelligent system mounted on walls and digital positioners or used with actuators. So, its a performance is much much better than old analog system. Let us discuss and see how this smart valve and other components are performing and some design and constructional details and the basic definition etc. Let us see it. <clears throat> to understand the terminology and the ability of abilities of smart product, a number of common instrumentation and control principle uh, terms must be generally understood. One is a distributive control system or DCS. Let us understand what is the simple definition of DCS. Hopefully in detail we will take another video on a DCS system. DCS, CADA and PLC, the control system, some electronic side and uh, total control system we will discuss, we will have planning a separate video, but in this video we have added some information uh, on DCS. A wide majority of control system that link process sensors and final control element such as control valves and actuators use controllers or distributive control system to provide intelligence in the control group. A controller is a microprocessor that receives input from a process sensor such as pressure or temperature sensor or a flow meter compare that signals against a predetermined value say set point. 
so that is the controller is receiving the signal from the transmitter or sensor we can say and it is comparing the value of set point and the output is uh, just to uh, sending the output to the uh, control valve to maintain the energy level or flow level or pressure or temperature level uh, to keep the desired set point. <clears throat> After the comparison is made, it is send the control corrected signal to the final control element until the predetermined value is reached. Uh, final control element mostly a control valve. A common controller is seen in today's system has a three-way mode that allows for loop tuning. In other words, the adjustment by user of the proportional integral derivative settings, which is mainly called PID. So earlier was some control wall, old control, control walls are either in proportional or integral or derivative. But nowadays, new uh, advanced control walls are coming. Uh, uh, controllers and coming control walls, controllers are coming uh, proportional integral and derivative or PID controller. So it will uh, minimize the lags and uh, errors and other things. So much, much advanced technologies using for control system, uh, PID, using a PID controller. So PID controller is simply this one and uh, with the PID control, these three settings can be adjusted to optimize the control loop or to provide certain control loop characteristics. For example, with the PID controller, variation between the set point and process variable can be automatically corrected or the system speed can be increased to improve system responses. This is a one simple example of a PID controller. <coughs> Some uh, information on a DCS system is there. From the field, it is going to the local equipment room or hardware room. And from there, it is going to uh, machine man-machine interface. Uh, it is their DCS uh, uh, display. So where the operator is sitting and he can communicate with uh, uh, field uh, uh, devices or field instruments through the instrumentation and uh, communication hardware and uh, software. So related to a controller but not much a large scale is the distributive control system or DCS. The DCS is a central microprocessor designed to receive the data from a number of devices and control the feedback to several final control elements. So, DCS is simple central microprocessor designed to receive data from a number of devices like walls and or control walls and positioners or smart meters, flow meters and sensors and transmitters. So, number of devices and control feedback to several final control elements. With the DCS, all wiring uh, for the input devices and the final control element lead to one central area, usually in a control room where the DCS is located. <clears throat> so, in between where are too many hardwares and softwares are there, we will understand that one uh, slowly, slowly in uh, our coming uh, videos. So, let's uh, first we will understand about analog process control system, the old system which, is, which was using. Still, it is using that one, but it is a uh, old technology. Let us understand that one. With a conventional analog system, the process sensing device transmit 4 to 20 milliamp signal to a controller or DCS. The signal is sent through a dedicated light, which is typically a shielded two wire light. Because the controller or DCS is a simply uh, is uh, simply a process computer that utilizes digital signals. The analog information coming from the field must be converted to digital signal uh, of the controller to the DCS. So that is important. The analog system to convert into digital for the DCS input. That is one limitation of uh, analog system. This is accomplished through an analog input output interface card which convert the analog signal to a detailed signal for the microprocessor to use as shown in the figure. In this figure is there analog to digital conversion is there uh, the, uh, uh, using in analog system. <clears throat> if the information received from the transmitted signal is different from the value needed by the process, the controller or DCS send a correcting signal to the final control element which can be a control wall. From the after comparing the desired comparing the process variable with uh, 
a desired set point, then the corrector signal will sending to back to control one. Again, it has to say convert from uh, digital signal to analog signal again before reaching to control wall. That is also another conversion is there. Once again, because of the analog communication lanes involved, the controller DCS will send a digital signal which is then converted to an analog signal and transmitted across a dedicated analog line to the control wall. The control wall responds by moving its position until the correct process value is achieved. Analog devices such as a flow meter or a limit switch or a positioner are used to generate process information or react to feedback from the controller and create an analog signal through mechanical means. For example, a limit switch depends on the mechanical movement of the shaft to make contact with the lever arm of the limit switch which causes the contact of the switch to meet and send analog signal. So, mechanical signal converting to analog signal. The main advantage of analog process control system is that because of the analog input output interface, any analog device whether it be a flow meter or a control valve can communicate with the controller or DCS making equipment interchangeability easy. So, this is the one of the advantage of analog system. A secondary advantage is that the analog system has general acceptance acceptance around the world instrumentation people are familiar with it and the majority of process devices use it so popularity major uses there commonly using analog st system still using in the uh, process control in uh, oil and gas industry <clears throat> analog system has a number of disadvantages also let us see one by one first they must have a dedicated line or in other words one line per device that is the one limitation one line per device if two devices are placed in one 4 to 20 milliamps line the signals are apt to interact adversely with one another and confuse the controller or dcs so dedicated line should be there for analog system of course electrical line can be influenced adversely by magnetic field and radio frequencies in addition wires can be damaged or break analog devices must have moving parts to create analog signal which can wear fail or hang up this is also one of the another disadvantage also because of analog devices have mechanical equipments calibration can wander or drift from the necessary settings especially where vibration occurs another disadvantage so now uh, uh, based on the analog system limitation and the disadvantages so uh, the science the world of instrumentation is developed uh, moved away from analog a little bit and uh, developed digital uh, process control system let us see that one what is the main difference and the features from the digital control system digital process control system because of the disadvantage and of the analog process control system coupled with the advent of microprocessor based controllers so it is based on microprocessor controller and a distributive control system the interest of using digital communication has grown significantly throughout the 1990s <clears throat> ideally a digital process control would not only utilize the digital communication associated with the controller or dcs but would also use the same digital communication with the process sensors and final control elements. That is the difference not only in DCS or uh, uh, central processor, but in uh, process sensors and transmitters also, it is using digital communication. Uh, this would uh, do away with the analog to digital interface conversion. That is one big advantage. So, analog to digital con conversion is not required as well as some other of the mechanical parts also removing and motion associated with analog devices. So, uh, limits are analog system limits are overcoming and here uh, in digital communication system, digital process control system. It would greatly improve product reliability, very important point, with a minimal amount of moving parts to fail <coughs> or wires to break. 
it will also ensure that exact communication is received by the controller and the final control element follows the feedback perfectly so the communication should be much clear well clear and precise with the detail system history is repeatability and other control problems are minimal as compared to analog system see history is repeatability and other control problems are minimal compared to detail system although line would be line would still be needed between the controller or this is as well as the process sensor and the final control element detail communication would allow a number of devices using in a single line that is biggest advantage in analog system each line need each devices need one uh, dedicated line here number of devices can use in a single line without much interaction this is because each device can have a electrical signal uh, that would allow it to, to identify itself the DCS or controller without signal interferences. Digital communications are dependent on standardized communication, all digital language called field bus. That is the digital language which is using. With a standardized field bus, field devices could not only communicate with the controller or DCS, but also with other field devices with a detail system analog input output interfaces will be replaced by a field bus digital interface which can receive a number of signal from multiple devices connected to one digital line <clears throat> this is the simple simplified picture of a digital process control the main advantage of detailed communication is that the signals sent by any device are easily identified through an instrument signature and can be separated from comparing signal. That is also one main advantage. This allows the DCS to store, sort the information according to the one device and send the feedback input to another device all in one line as shown in this figure. <clears throat> The most obvious advantage of detail system is that the improved accuracy and response of the system. See, improved accuracy, precise response and improved accuracy and response of the system. With the detail communication, no portion of a signal is lost. The lack of moving part or linkage means better performance, less maintenance and recalibration and lower spare part inventories these are the cost side we can save much on maybe initial cost will be uh, quite more but in the continuous and running cost will be much lesser on better performance less maintenance recalibration and lower spare part inventory we can save uh, uh, significantly from the cost side so role of a smart valve is another important information has to stay in the world of digital process control and communication system. The time that smart valves has been applied to those control valves and use of onboard microprocessor or digital positioners to communicate with either analog or digital system. Both case how the smart valves are working. The final has the final control elements. Control wall must have the ability to communicate digitally with the controller or DCS as well as to interact with the other digital field instruments and to take advantage of the positive aspects of digital communications. As a minimum, this requires a digital positioner. For smart wall, digital positioner is our next area to understand. <coughs> Intelligent system provide a complete single loop control when placed on a valve which require process sensors, a controller and digital positioner. So all control loop is part of the control valve itself and nearby controller, sensor, digital positioner, all other uh, necessary accessories are uh, 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 part of that uh, near, not a dedicated control room in far away from the field it is all uh, control family control instruments are together joining nearby the control wall that is in the smart valve and detail positioners and intelligence system <coughs> providing 
This allows a wide range of functions from process control to data acquisition uh, to self-diagnosis. In addition, with some smart value designs, PID control can be added to automatically loop tune the process so that it is more efficient. On the other hand, a detail positioner has the microprocessor included with the positioner and is used only to assist the wall with its ability to act as final control element. See, micro power detail positioner also not our uh, traditional old uh, electronic type or pneumatic type or electronic type at least the positioner, but it is uh, a digital positioner, it is a micro processor based. So it is also acting as a final control element. Overall, both smart walls and positioners can provide various levels of valve self-diagnostics and the management of safety system such as a controlled shutdown. Smart walls are primarily linear motion walls with the globe walls being the primary focus although some rotary motion walls have been modified to smart services. So it is actually a linear motion walls mainly using on control wall type of globe walls but although some rotary walls also using that one. An advantage of using smart product with a rotary wall which has an inherent flow characteristics is that a modified flow characteristics can be custom programmed providing better flow control for the user. Although smart wall can correct the problems of associated with a positioner's linear to rotary motion which does not produce a true linear signal because the swing arc of the positioner take off arm. Now, intelligent systems of uh, control walls we have to discuss and some information from that area. Let us see that one. The most sophisticated smart wall is a control wall that is equipped with an intelligent system of process sensors. Here you can see some simple example of a process sensor to transmitter. <clears throat> The intelligence system is a microprocessor based controller that is capable of providing local process control. See, DCS is giving centralized process control, but the intelligent system is providing a local process control system. That is, it is using for diagnostics and safety management. Process input to the intelligence system comes through the process sensors mounted to the body. Here you can see, this is a simple example showing that one a local intelligent system providing local process control the system has also has a internal sensors to monitor uh, the valve stem position and the pressure on both side of the pneumatic actuator see system is also additionally added that one stem movement and the actuator movement or pressure on actuator side <clears throat> placing a controller and the process sensors on a control valve because to <coughs> provide a local control loop or local control system for a single loop control defined simply as an input sensor sensing the information to the controller which sends a correcting signal to a control element until the correct value is achieved. By monitoring, by monitoring the upstream pressure, downstream pressure, temperature and the stem position, the intelligent system can calculate the flow rate of the valve and compare that against the predetermined set point and make any necessary position adjustment to provide the correct flow rate. See the advantage of local control system monitoring upstream pressure, downstream pressure and temperature and the stem point. The intelligent system can calculate flow rate and uh, flow rate of the valve and compare that against a predetermined set point and make any necessary position ad adjustment to provide correct flow rate. So, a better, much better uh, process control is possible in uh, providing the control system, local control system and a intelligent system of control. The clock's proximity of the process sensors and control valve to the controller greatly reduces the dead time, very, very important, or lag time significantly increase in the response of the process chain. So any process upsets and changes coming, it will advance, it will uh, 
റെസ്പോൺസ് വിൽ ബി വെരി ലെസ് ആൻഡ് ക്യുക്കിലി സോറി റെസ്പോൺസ് വിൽ ബി വെരി ഫാസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ക്യുക്കിലി വിൽ റിയാക്ട് ആൻഡ് ടേക്ക് കറക്റ്റീവ് മെഷേഴ്സ് ഫ്രം ദ പ്രോസസ് കൺട്രോൾ വാൾ കൺട്രോൾ ആൻഡ് ഡിസിഷൻ ആൻഡ് കൺട്രോൾ വാൾ പൊസിഷൻസ് ടു ഓപ്പൺ ആൻഡ് ക്ലോസ് ടു മെയിൻറ്റെയിൻ അറ്റ് ഡിസൈഡ് സെറ്റ് പോയിന്റ് വെൻ എ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ പൊസിഷണറി ഇസ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡഡ് ഇൻ ദ ഇൻ്റലിജൻസ് സിസ്റ്റം ദ പ്രോബ്ലം അസോസിയേറ്റ് വിത്ത് ഹിസ്റ്ററീസ് ലീനിയറിറ്റി ആൻഡ് റിപ്പീറ്റബിലി റിപ്പീറ്റബിലിറ്റി ആർ ഗ്രേറ്റ്ലി റെഡ്യൂസ്ഡ് സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് ദ വാൾവ് പൊസിഷണർ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ കൺട്രോൾ പൊസിഷണർ ഓർ ഡീറ്റെയിൽ പൊസിഷണർ ഈസ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡഡ് ഇഫ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഇൻക്ലൂഡഡ് ദെൻ ടു ദ ടു ദ ഇൻ്റലിജൻസ് സിസ്റ്റം ദെൻ മച്ച് മോർ ബെറ്റർ പ്രോസസ് കൺട്രോൾ ക്യാൻ അച്ചീവ് ഇൻ്റലിജൻസ് സിസ്റ്റം അലോ for for the valve and process self diagnostics through their ability to record a signature of the valve or process safety management is another use of intelligent system very important since they are capable of programmable settings that can notify the user when the process limits are violated by a system upset that means some levels and uh, trip conditions uh, process safeguards we can include easily in the microprocessor based process control system or local process control system so it easily can upset or alarm and take corrective messages like a trip or shutdown we can easily manage data logging is another advantage of intelligent system as they have the ability to record process conditions through Uh, user specified interval that is also another important in the detail communication and advanced process control intelligent system of control walls data logging data log is normally provided so that the user can evaluate the process looking for any abnormal abnormalities in the upset the intelligent system takes a place of a controller individual pressure and temperature sensors a flow meter limit switch tubing and wiring this area we can use intelligent process control taken together the cost of an intelligent system mounted directly on a control valve is less than the sum of the individual piece of equipment if you are considering the total cost may be more but considering comparing with all other individual components like a flow meter limit switch tubing and wiring intelligent process system control cost is much much lesser than the individual piece of equipment one more information to complete before completing the this video digital positioners uh, part of in uh, our uh, intelligent process control system following the introduction of intelligent system control of control walls a logical step was to move toward a digital positioner which are devices that use a microprocessor to position the pneumatic actuator and to monitor the record certain data so the advantage earlier we studied about uh, pneumatic actuator then we studied about uh, uh, understand about the electronic actuator now it is a digital positioner using a microprocessor positioner to control pneumatic actuator and plus monitor and record certain data digital positioners are not do not provide a single loop control as intelligent system do therefore they must be installed in a more conventional process loop with a controller and process sensors although they have they are not equal to intelligent system digital positioners can perform some of the same functions for example a digital positioner can measure the transit and transmit actuator stem position providing alarm signals similar to limit switch when a certain position is reached or exceeded and eliminating any requirement for an independent position transmitter uh, pid control or tuning also pid control and tuning are also possible see so digital position can help to uh replacing some individual stem position information and uh, alarm uh, like limit switches uh, some information also they can combine together in digital positioner a typical digital positioner operate providing command 4 to 20 milliamps same signal as like analog and other signal uh, system provides the power source to the electronics compressed air is also required to provide to power pneumatic actuator of course uh, still uh, the actuator is a pneumatic power and uh, 
ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് പൊസിഷനറീസ് പവേർഡ് ബൈ ഇലക്ട്രോണിക് സിഗ്നൽ so 4 to 20 milliamps and here it is 3 to 15 psi that's why air regulator showing in the this simple uh, picture <clears throat> the actuator feedback portion is providing by a special take off arm provides a mechanical to electronic function actuator portion is taking the feedback link to back to positioner using a take off arm that provide a mechanical to electronic function the linear motion of the actuator stem turns a rotating potentiometer which provides a position feedback to the positioner's electronics and compare that feedback to the signal this way it is working a key element in the correct operation of digital positioners is the placement of pressure sensors in the electronics that can monitor the air pressure sent to the actuator that is another advantage this information is important in recording an initial signature of the actuator's function as well as providing future signatures that can be used to self diagnostics so next video so thanks for watching uh, this video and uh, uh, next video is coming on valve sizing some mechanical information and uh, design features and constructional features coming from valve Uh, so in that one we are including the importance of correct valve sizing and valve sizing criteria for manual valves and valve size criteria for throttling valves also control valves so valve sizing criteria for relief valves. so some of the valve sizing or design features some uh, mathematical equations and limits and uh, dependability of other factors uh, on Uh, valve sizing let us discuss on that one in coming video so thanks for watching this video have a good day